Good morning, afternoon, and evening for all who are watching us. My name is Mohammed Hisham Atallah, Egyptian Project Architect at Trust Engineering Consultancy. Today, I'm going to talk about our experience as an architects and designers with architectural visualization in one of our projects, which is Moza bin Muhammad Quran Center. First, I would like to give you a short introduction about who we are, what we do, and how our work as architects is structured, as well as our workflow to show the importance of architectural visualization in our process. Then I'll discuss our case study, which is Moza bin Muhammad Quran and Dawa Center, and show how did we use the architectural visualization technologies to deliver our ideas and how architectural visualization recent technologies aided our profession. Last, I'll give a hint about the project status, recognition, and shortlisting. So let's start. So first, Trust Engineering Consultancy is a group of architects, artists, engineers, and professionals that are located and originated in Qatar with several international branches in Middle East and Europe. We are around 150 active employees and we are established since 2008. We do building design, structural, systems design, sustainability assessments, urban planning and any activity which is related to the building and construction industry. As an architect, we work in a certain flow, where after meeting our clients, we combine all the received client requirements, building codes and regulations and start the brainstorming process to find the best ideas that can satisfy our clients' needs. And here comes a role for Arjaviz, where we need to express those ideas to our clients that might have different backgrounds. So, that's basically what we do in our process. Now I will talk about the case study for Moza bin Muhammad Quran and Dawa Center. In 2019, an architectural competition was announced by the General Electorate of Endowment or Qaf, to design a new Islamic education center dedicated only for women. The project was required to be iconic, symbolic, and attract students from all over the Middle East. We started our brainstorming process and we found the desired source of inspiration, the Sidri tree flower, which is native to Qatar and was mentioned in the Holy Quran in several positions. We were also inspired by the traditional elements of Islamic architecture, which will help to, to overcome some of the project challenges. These elements were the sahn or courtyard and the mashrabiyya, where both will help to reduce the temperature, maintain privacy, as well as adding an authentic touch to the building design. In order to express those ideas and implement these ideas on the building, we needed to submit several deliverables with different visualization styles in order for our client to digest the idea and get our design clearly. Those deliverables are basic diagrams, 3D renderings, and detailed diagrams. So in the basic diagrams, we wanted our message to be simple and informative. We wanted to show our client how our inspiration has turned into a building with masses. So we used basic 3D modeling with light located on one side so that the polygon faces can have different tones of light so you can feel the depth of the mass. Also the material used was corona wire texture to define the mass edges and if you take a closer look you can see the diagrams and how the building is transforming. So this concludes the first style of arch we used. The second submittal or deliverable was the renderings itself, which needed to be more realistic and clear to give a clear image on our design. And let's go through the renderings so we can have a better image about the project. And this shot shows our uh, main human eye perspective. And this one shows our main entrance and access to the basement. And for this one, it's an aerial or bird eye shot. And 
and this shot shows the internal courtyard design and here is the top view for the internal courtyard as well and these shots show the mosque renovation works And our interior design for classes is inspired by the way students gathered in mosques to learn Quran. And here comes our interior design, our main entrance lobby. Also, I'd like to give a special thanks for what for one of our hosts, uh, Samiha Difawi, as she made a good contribution to the project interior designs. She designed some major spaces like the main entrance, auditorium, library and VIP halls prototypes. And our last deliverable was the detailed diagrams, which we used to express the project different zones. We prefer to make this diagram animated so that the client can connect between the different zones on a horizontal level and on a vertical level. One of the things that I wanted to highlight as well is how Archivis lately have developed and included new features and technologies that aided our production, saved our time and helped us to be more efficient. The first feature I would like to talk about is the light mix. Light mix is featured in both Corona and VRA renderers. The light mix saved a lot of time, especially in trials and errors in lighting setup. Also it helped us easily to detect lighting errors and find the root causes of any any problems that we have in lighting setup. It also allowed us to achieve several lighting moods and effects without the need to re-render the whole scene which increased for sure our productivity. One other important technology is the virtual reality sets which places the user in an immersive environment allowing the user to experience the realistic scale of the project which will help visualizing future projects and spaces without the need to construct them. At the end, I would like to say that architectural visualization is a cornerstone in our industry. It helps us to express our ideas, solve pro future problems, and we as an architects will always be looking up for any development in the architectural visualization field. And before I end my presentation, I would like to highlight the current project status. So the competition was announced in 2019. We were announced as winners in the late 2020. And in July 2022, we were shortlisted in the World Architectural Festival 2022 award in the future building category with the potential to win the category prize end of this year in Lisbon. The project permits were released last month and it's going to hit the ground inshallah soon. Before I end my session, I would like to thank all the project team that worked hard to reach this result and special thanks to our managing partner, engineer Mohammed Nabil and our architects and engineers. Thank you everyone.